Yes, good morning, students. I am going to take you through a brief introduction on matrices. This is a senior for topic, and the teacher is teacher Kakuru Dennis. You can catch me on my YouTube channel, teacher, T-I-I-C-H-A, Kakuru D for all your academic requirements. Please enjoy the lesson. Uh, one would quickly ask that what is a matrix? What is a matrix? What is a matrix? We can define a matrix in brief as an ordered pair or array is an ordered array or pair of events of elements or elements an ordered pair of elements that can be described by rows and columns we can say it's an ordered pair of elements simply described by rows and columns a quick very quick example of a matrix is a well-organized class a well-organized class is arranged in rows and columns let us consider a matrix m with values a b c d e f g h i i j k l this is a typical example of what we are calling a matrix and we can say that the rows the rows run horizontally i.e. matrix M above which you can see has three rows has three rows the columns these ones run vertically i.e. the above matrix M has uh, four columns. This implies that matrix order, which is the next important uh, part, is written in terms of rows times columns, implying therefore that the order of our matrix M above is a three by four this implies that it has three rows and four columns the rows as i may emphasize are one two three and the columns are one two three and four that is the order of a matrix um examples examples quick ones um a if i have two one three this is a matrix of order the order is one there is only one row but three columns if i have another matrix one two three the matrix order here is a three by one this implies that i have three rows and one column if i have another matrix the order is a two by two two columns two rows and if i have another matrix order is 
a 2 by 3. A student following this lesson out there should be aware now of how to tell the order of a matrix. Uh, note that matrix order is written starting with the rows followed by the columns. And finally, I'm saying EG, if I have A, B, C, D, E, F, this is row 1, this is row 2, this is column 1, column 2, and column 3, implying that the order for this matrix is a 2 by 3, is a 2 by 3. We can quickly look at matrix addition. Matrix addition. When adding matrices, we add corresponding terms. E.g. if I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 as a matrix. And I add it to 0, 1, 2, 3. And um, I add it to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. First of all, addition is possible. Addition is possible. It is only possible if the matrices have the same order. If matrices have the same order. If the order is different, then matrix addition would be impossible. So the answer here would be 1 plus 0, 2 plus 1, 3 plus 2, 4 plus 3. And then 5 plus 4, 6 plus 5, 6 plus 7, and then 7 plus 8. So the final answer would therefore be a 1, a 3, a 5, a 7, and then a 9, 11, a 13, and then 15. This would be our answer. Subtraction. Matrix subtraction is still the same. Only possible if matrices have the same order. Only possible if matrices have the same order. And we can take an example also. That if I have 1, 2, 3, 1. And I'm adding there 4, 5, 0, 2. With, um, I am subtracting my 1, 0, 2, 2. And 2, 0, 1, 1. Then my final answer would be. 1 minus 1, 2 minus 0, 3 minus 2, and 1 minus 2. Then 4 minus 2, 5 minus 0, 0 minus 1, and 2 minus 1. And finally, the answer would be 0, a 2, a 1, a negative 1, a 2, a 5, a negative 1, and a 1. Um, matrix multiplication would um, also be the same. Multiplying, multiplication by a scalar. This looks at an example that if I have a matrix A as 3, 2, 1, for to find say 2a would require either adding 2a is the same as a plus a and this would imply it is the same as 3 2 1 4 plus 3 2 1 4 multiplication can be converted into an addition giving us 6, 4, 
and then to eight. However, we could look at it as a product. We could look at it as a product that two a could also be equal to two into three two one four. This is an alternative where the two can be multiplied through each term. Each term. To give us still the same answer of 6, 4, 2, 8. In this case, 3 is referred to, a, 2 is referred to as a scalar of the matrix. Can be referred to as a scalar of the matrix. Um, at this stage, I will wind up this lesson and give my followers a few numbers to try out. For example, number one, just a few numbers. State the order. State the order of the matrices. State the order of the matrices. And we could have number one as one, two, three, four, five. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But 2 could have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But 3, uh, we could have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Question number 2, you can be asked to express as one matrix. Express as one matrix and part one you have one two three four plus one four three two part two you have one zero um zero one and you are taking away one two three four um Question number three, um, utilizing space very well. Question number three, you have um, one, three, four. You have one, three, uh, one, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, and you're adding on. This is, this is part three. Part three, you're adding on uh, five, six, seven, and one two three number three the last question you can be having if a is one two three four and b is four three one four you can be told to find part one a plus b part two a minus B, part 3, um, is 3A, part 4, you can have 5B, and part 5, you can have 5 into A plus B. And part 6, by 6, you can have, um, say, uh, uh, B minus A. I want to wish you a good lesson and when we meet next we shall proceed to look at multiplication of two matrices. I want to wish you the best and please keep following my lessons. God bless you.